All right. Relationship between the direction angles and their scalar components given by Vx is equal to magnitude of V cos alpha, Vy is magnitude of V cos beta, Vz is magnitude of V cos gamma, and the magnitude of V we just said was square root of Vx squared plus Vy squared plus Vz squared. Just this part, honestly, just this part. Because this part is the same on your notes as mine, right? It's just this part that's review, so that's fine. You don't have to write anything down. Just review it. Okay. So just as a simple example here, if you have cosine alpha, that's equal to <laughs> Vx over magnitude <coughs> of V. Okay. And then you just rearrange it to get the Vx component. Yeah. yeah. Just this part. This part, I think we already did this, so that's fine. We don't have to do it. This is from refer to, I want to say 7.1 or 7.2, but I really can't remember which one. But we honestly did this one. This was like the last question where you had to sketch and then you had to figure out the x, y, and z components. We also did this part too. So we have that You already have it in 7.1 or 2. We just rearrange things a little bit for the next time, that's why. So. Okay, so then let's go on to this one. So this part should be the same in your notes. Direction angles for OP using projections. To calculate the angle that the vector OP makes with the X, Y, and Z axes, we project OP onto each of the axes. So. OP projection onto I, and I remember is, so OP is given as ABC. I is the unit vector on which axis? On the x axis, yeah, so it's 1, 0, 0. So if you want the dot product of OP and I, then it's magnitude of OP times magnitude of I times cos alpha, and then if you rearrange this, you get my uh, OP dot product with I divided by magnitude of OP times magnitude of I. Okay, based on what you covered yesterday, A, B, C dot product one, zero, zero over, and then magnitude of any 3D vector is the square root of X component squared plus Y component squared plus Z component squared. And then what's the magnitude of the I vector? Just one, yeah, this is a unit vector. Right? So what ends up happening when you calculate this dot product? What does this equal? A. Just A, right? Because it's A times one plus B times zero plus C times zero. So you're just gonna have A over square root a squared plus B squared plus C squared. So that means alpha is cos inverse of A over square root of A squared plus B squared plus C squared. So in this diagram here, if you can sort of imagine this angle is your alpha okay. between vector OP and the positive x-axis. Okay. So repeat, but just with the other uh, direction angles. So what would be cos beta equal then? Repeat, repeat. Cos beta equals? Is it A, is it B, is it C? B, yes, over square root A squared plus B squared plus C squared. So that means angle beta 
is equal to cos inverse of b over root b squared plus, or sorry, a squared plus b squared plus c squared. And that would be, on my diagram, this angle right here. Questions? Okay. Then, last but not least, for cos gamma, then, what's the formula? C over root a squared plus b squared plus c squared. And then angle gamma is cos inverse of c over root a squared plus b squared plus c squared. And that would be this angle here between the vector op and the positive z-axis.